We awoke the following morning in that camp spot number four to an immensely still day and it was, well, unresistible. I just had to get James up. After another brew, we set off to head further south down Harris. Yep, clear. beach and we just had to stop. particularly Harris, we were on a bit of a, a reunion. Would you call it a reunion? A recce? A going back? A reminiscing, that's the word I'm looking for, of when we were here 13 years ago. Because we were here to search out a new B&B. And when we were here last, there was a nice little cafe down here, so we decided to head off down to the bottom of Northton to check it out. And I have to say that this was honestly the worst road we'd encountered so far. This is the Temple Cafe and I bobbed in to see if there was any space. And to be honest, it was rammed, so we had to leave and set off to find somewhere else to get a bit of lunch. So we continued south down towards Leverborough. It says, I'm clicking supermarket and you
Again, we spotted something last minute and decided to turn around. And we've bought a burger and fries at this place called the Buffy. They were good if rather expensive at £16 each. Stomachs fuller and purses a little emptier, we soon came across another familiar sight, the co-op, otherwise known as the Clacken. Yeah, that one wasn't there before, what's that one? Back when we came in 2011, this was the local post office, and that actually ceased trading in 2017, before becoming this new tweed shop. Carminish House was the B&B that Bernie and I were trying to buy back in 2011 but unfortunately we couldn't sell Keswick quick enough and with the property system in Scotland being different to England you have to have the money and be ready to go so unfortunately we lost out and it wasn't the only house we lost out to we lost three in total and in the end just had to give up really it's just one of those times in life when you think what if? Continuing on down towards Borisdale, we were to meet up with Howard and Sally and to have a walk over to the church at Rodal. Rodal Church was built by Alastair MacLeod in 1520 as a burial ground for the chiefs of the MacLeod clan and it ceased to be a church in 1560 after the Protestant Reformation. It fell into disrepair and was restored in both 1784 and 1873 and it's still used for the occasional wedding. <coughs> sense of peace and tranquility didn't end just because we'd left the church. It was out here too. 
didn't get that at Luscan Tire yesterday, it's a shame. What's that? The blue sky, so oh, yeah. we had a grey sea. We didn't yeah. have a nice blue sky and a nice turquoise sea. Oh. Oh. Right. It was time to head back. Yeah, it does. Leaving Howard and Sally behind, it was now time to drive up the east side of Harris, up what's known as the Golden Road. Apparently it got that name because it cost so much to actually build it. And looking at the landscape and the twists and turns that they encountered, I can quite see why. things here we were told are ramps so you can drive onto them and you've got yourself a ready-made carpet as in carpet car a car pit for, really? for fixing your car you want to put a new exhaust on or anything yeah. underneath drive onto there stops on the end to stop you driving right off. Yeah. Sitting so long 
in one place at a time That I've built up the front That I'm hiding beyond She says that rabbit hole stuff It's all just tricks of the mind And I could go back up If I wasn't always coming down Even with my feet on the ground even when I think that I found what I'm missing, I'm always waking up. Nowhere close enough, but one day, love, that'll be different. We were heading back into Tarbut because I had some shopping to do. Something I've always wanted to buy and I've been saving up for for quite some months. And today, hopefully it'll be the day. Now the particular shop I wanted was just here on the right. But because of the one-way system, we had to go all the way around the block. So just what was it I was looking for? So I've been looking for a a Harris tweed bag and I wanted to buy one from Harris I didn't want to get one online I wanted to support the locals here direct to them so we came into Tybert and we found this lovely shop this Harris tweed shop just on the harbour front in Tybert and I found the perfect bag I am so chuffed that's all my spending money for the holiday gone, but quality really stands out. It's gorgeous. Now, I'm not a shoes and handbag sort of girl, but I'll make an exception for this one. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. And join us next time for another amazing night's park up and spotting these amazingly beautiful beasts before finally leaving Harris and Lewis on the ferry to Burnaray. Nowhere close enough, but 